Hi, I'm Martin, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be cooking good old chicken kebab and chips. I'm quite partial to a takeaway every now and again on a Friday night when we can't be bothered to cook. However, I just thought it would be a good idea to try and make my own on the barbecue and see what happens. So to start, I've got 500 grams of chicken thighs. I'm gonna lay them out, bash them down to get them all the same thickness. Then I'm going to throw them into the shawarma marinade and leave for at least four hours. The recipe for the marinade is in the description below. Okay, so for general setup here, we're not going to do half and half today. We're going to do a full, full fire basket. Uh, we're going to get all this lit up now and then I'll show you the setup with the grills. Okay, so the flames have gone out now. We've got our charcoal just warming up nice. So I think what we're going to do on this side, we'll put our cast iron plate so that can be warming up. And I think on the other side, I'll explain why in a minute, but I'm just going to put this grill on here so that I can support the chicken. So we're going to let that warm up now and then we can start cooking. So my grill plate here is 150C now, so that, that we're going to get the chips on this in a minute. Uh, as I said, I've put the grill plate on there just to give it a bit of support. So basically what I've done, I split the thighs down, put them on two um, skewers like this. Um, Obviously, you know, you'd be doing it on a rotisserie or, you, you know, you might be doing it on a spike. I haven't got any of them. So I thought I'd do it this way. Um, so we'll get that cooking. Now, the bit that I need to show you here, and you're going to have to bear with me, but we've got frozen oven fries. Now... We've got frozen oven fries now believe me I've never ever done this before so if you're still watching this now it means it worked if it if you're not watching this obviously I've edited it completely out and not done fries so frozen fries we want fries with our kebabs Get them all layered out nice there on the pan. I've seen this and I've heard about it. I've never done it in my life. So let's see how we get on. Frozen fries barbecued. So let's uh, see how this is looking. As I say, I haven't got a spike. I haven't got a rotisserie, so this is how we're going to do it. Now regarding the fries for our takeaway, I, I mentioned this to um, one of my colleagues at work. And what he said, he says, why are you just doing fries like this? Why are you not making your own and you're not making your own bread and all this type of stuff? Well, the idea is that we're trying to create a quick easy meal you know I, I, I'm, I'm just thinking like Friday night or Saturday night you want your takeaway you know you, you want your chips you want your kebabs you want a quick meal it could be another video where I'm cooking my own chips and my own bread and all that type of stuff but right now you know it's a quick fake away that we need But if this works, you're going to be absolutely surprised. But I think the important thing is to keep them flat on the grill and not let them double up too much like that. I mean, regarding the um, takeaway, I could have made my own sauces as well. But what I've actually done, look... I've actually bought proper, look, yoghurt and mint, chilli sauce as well. We've got the proper stuff that you'd get in a kebab house. 
Who'd have ever thought you, you could do oven chips on a grill? Don't know if I can yet. I haven't done them. Give this another flip. See how it's looking. This is just what you want. Just what you want on a Friday or a Saturday night. Get yourself a nice chicken kebab as if it was a takeaway. Kebab and chips or fries for my American audience. Oh, just look at the glow on them coals now. A quick check of the fries here. They actually feel like they're crisping up a bit. Oh, oh I've lost the chip. Have a look, another look at the fries. I'll tell you what, if this works, I might put the full grill plate on next time and do some dirty fries. If it works, of course, which I'm sure it's going to. Start getting a bit of colour on them in a minute as well. See, look, right, they are starting to get a bit of colour on them. They are browning up a bit. I think we are going to have chips with our dinner tonight. As for me fries, I'm going to try one in a minute. Oh, I keep losing them. I only have half the fries left in a minute. You see they're getting a bit of colour. Oh, I've lost another one. over again. Oh, it's looking good. Look at that. It actually worked. Without the rotisserie, it worked. So I am going to get one of these fries off now with my fingers. If I can do it, I'll bite into that and see if it's cooked. Right, here we go. Here's our fry on the grill. Oh, God, that's hot. But it's cooked. It's bang on. It's cooked. Let's get the chicken off and let's get our kebabs made up. See, that's at 75 now. I mean, all that's cooked. Okay, so let's attempt to get the fries off without losing half of them. Okay, there's a couple of burnt ones there, but it's the first time I've ever done it, so I've lost a few on the way as well. There's our fries. And as I said, yeah, I haven't made the bread myself, but you know, it's, it's a quick, easy meal that we're trying to demonstrate tonight. 
making my own bread and grilling it could be another video later on. So there's our chicken. So much there, but here we go. So, a bit of lettuce. A bit of onion. Okay, so we've got uh, hot chili sauce right from the kebab house. Our mint and yogurt. We're not gonna get it out. Oh. There we have it. We've got our fake away kebab right from the kebab house. We've got our chips or fries. Absolutely look, just get in on that. Look, just get in on that. What does that look like? It look good. Mm. Why spend 18 quid on a couple of kebabs when you can have this in your garden on the barbecue? 